Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at the very popular 2022 Forest River Surveyor Legend Model 202 RBLE. This particular trailer is going to come in at 4,893 pounds as we see it here today, and is going to be 25 feet 1 inches in overall length. This is by far one of the most popular units in the whole Surveyor line, and it's going to feature a new completely carpetless interior, awesome storage, a really cool breakfast bar area, 60 by 80 true queen bed, Asdale sidewalls, and an 80 watt solar panel, as well as a forced air heated and enclosed underbelly. So with that further ado, let's go ahead and jump on to the inside. All right, guys, so we're on the inside of this 202 RBLE Surveyor. And this by far, again, is one of their most popular trailers in the whole lineup. And one of the things that I think makes it so popular is just how open and spacious it feels. Now, if we start over here, we're starting off with an optional piece of equipment. This particular one, we optioned it with the tri-fold sofa sleeper. And this is a very popular option since not everybody wants a dinette in a couple's camper. So if we take a look at the video that'll pop up, you can see that this will turn into a very nice sized bed for up to two adult guests if you have them come with you. Now you've got great window coverage in the slide out. I really wish that big window in the slide out would open, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I understand why they did it. You can also see that they now have no carpet in the slide out, which is really nice. I also really like the cup holders in that sofa too. Um, the carpetless nature of this floor plan just makes it super easy to clean. Now there also is a theater seat option. If you're looking for more of a recliner setup, they have got you covered. And that's one of the things I really like about this floor plan. You can pretty much pick your own adventure and equip it the way that you want it. Server uses an amber accent light up top there. You can kind of see it. It's not much in the daytime, but it's a really neat feature. I wish you could turn that on and off by itself though. You've got double rows of LED lights, a 15,000 BTU Coleman AC, uh, Q-Series AC standard, excuse me. And um, they don't duct their 200 series for some weird reason. Um, it really doesn't make a difference, though, from what we've been able to see in a couple of these that we've sold. But at least it is the big air conditioner, which is very nice. Now, if we look down at the floor, one of the things you will not see is in-floor ducted heating. Surveyor uses a cabinet ducted AC system. They've been doing that now for a couple of years. And there's uh, a um, one of those vents. And then one of the other really neat things that Surveyor does is they actually have a taller uh, sidewall. So this has a six foot nine inch interior wall uh, height and the nice thing about that is they can build their slide boxes taller so i'm 6'2 i can fully walk in that slide out it's really really neat now before we get to the bedroom i do want to kind of take a moment and talk about the breakfast bar so this comes with two bar stools as you can see there and it's an elevated place you know to do some work on a laptop or um, you know, eat breakfast or dinner or wherever. It's a really nice thing and you really don't need two places to eat. And that's one of the reasons why we don't bring these in with the dinette. Now, if we take a seat at the sofa, you are looking directly across at the TV. Now that is, uh, TVs are an optional piece of equipment and that is on a swing arm mount. So you can turn it and face it towards the bed if you do want to. You do kind of have to look up just a hair, but I think if you get the recliners, it, it'll definitely help. You're also gonna have your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system right here. So that is a very nice 
thing. And I also like that they give you the vent right here. Now this doesn't have a fan in it. You could easily upgrade it if you did want to. Now if we take a look at the kitchen space, because this has a very, very good kitchen. You can see if we start up top, you have great cabinetry space there. All of this is gonna be pocket screwed cabinetry, so it's a higher grade uh, cabinet. You're also gonna have your microwave and hood range combo up there. Now, as we drop down, you've got your oven and stove. That's a three burner cooktop with the glass cover. And you've also got a knife block back there and a utensil cup, which is a really neat feature. It's an old school feature that I like that they went ahead and brought back. All pressed membrane thermofoil style countertops there. You've got three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guided drawers there. And if we look up underneath the cabinet, you're going to have two sets of electrical outlets there, which is very nice. You also have, as you can see, a household and USB outlet on the back side of that elevated bar. Nice stainless steel farm style sink with the high rise faucet. And then underneath the sink, you are going to have great storage there as well. Now, if we come over here, you have got your 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. You're also going to have a huge pantry. And for a 25 foot trailer, this pantry is just enormous. One of the nice things on the 12 volt compressor driven refrigerators, if you're not familiar with them, you uh, they can run off of the 80 watts of solar panels that are up on the roof. They also are fully travel safe and you can run them through bridges, tunnels, uh, basically anywhere in the U.S., which is really nice. They also cool off a lot faster. Now, one of the things I did want to mention, you do have your thermostat there. And then you've got uh, your propane leak detector and another 110 volt outlet up there as well. Now, as we spin back around over here, you have got the bedroom. Now, because this is a true couples coach, they don't do like a privacy curtain or anything. But if we open all this up, first of all, you can see that you've got a 60 by 80 residential size true queen bed. You're going to have household and USB outlets on both sides, drawers on both sides, larger taller wardrobes on each side. That's one of the things that Surveyor does that I really do enjoy. And then you'll have great netted storage up top. You're also going to have uh, household outlets, cup holders, and nightstands on the back side of those wardrobes, which is a really cool feature. And then as we lift up the bed, you can see that you've got a big trunk style storage compartment under there. Lastly, as we go back into the bathroom, so this is, has a very good bathroom. Um, one of the things that I really like is you do have um, plenty of room in here. That's a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. You've also got a GFI protected outlet and all of your water pump, water heater, and tank monitoring panels uh, up there. Nice thermal foil press membrane countertops. Um, backsplash in here. You've got a nice size sink. You've got a 30 by 36 inch shower with the slow close shower door. So I'll go ahead and kind of show you what that looks like there. And again, one of the things that's really nice about this being a six foot nine inch sidewall is you can be, you know, six four and still shower in here comfortably. You've got a medicine cabinet with uh, toothbrush holders underneath there, which is kind of a neat feature. I'm not seeing that done anywhere else. Down underneath here, 
you've got good storage there. And then you've kind of got an open uh, linen cabinet here, and it goes all the way to the roof. You're going to have a, and I don't know why I didn't turn on light sooner here, but there are those. Um, you've got a four inch fart fan, as we call it here in this industry. You could upgrade that if you wanted to. And then lastly, you're going to have some nice towel hooks. And I like that they, you know, made it look good. They didn't just put a scrap piece of wood up there and put some, you know, towel hangers up there. It, it has a purpose. It's really nice. Um, and then this is so kind of dumb, but they actually put a locking bathroom door on these. So many brands just don't do that. And then before we close the slide up, you've got your solar charge controller here, and then you've got your awning and slide up controls and all of your lighting controls for all your interior and exterior lights. So real quick, guys, let's go ahead now and let's close this slide out and look at it in road mode. So with the slide out closed, this one is completely travel accessible. So you can get up here and yes, it is kind of a tight squeeze, but you still can get up here to the bedroom if you need to stop and take a siesta or something, you know, while you're on the road. You can get to the sofa, you can get to the breakfast bar, and you can get to all of the kitchen space, which is really nice and it's really hard to find that in a lot of campers. Now, because this is behind the slide out, you can still get to all of the bathroom space, which is again, very nice. So I'm gonna call this one completely turtle friendly. Let's go ahead now, jump onto the outside and take a look at the outside features. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this 202 RBLE. First things first, you've got the fiberglass sidewalls. You're gonna have a automotive grade windshield up front, diamond plate rock guard. Up here, you've got your power tongue jack, safety chain holder or dog leash clip, two 20 pound propane tanks. You've got your rails for your battery and your battery disconnect. And then over here, you're gonna have a seven way plug holder to keep your seven way plug out of the mud and things of that sort. Now, as we come around to this side, you're gonna see four corner stabilizer jacks. Those are gonna be manual. You've got a very large pass-through storage. You can see that this is an all aluminum cage construction with aluminum bed bases. That box there is the griddle for the outside kitchen. I just don't like to open those until it's sold. You're gonna have a motion sensor light, three quarter inch uh, bit adapter for your stabilizer jacks. So you can run those with your cordless drill. So again, great pass-through storage. This door here has a magnetic, or all the doors have magnetic holdbacks. Slam latch on this one door here. And then if we look underneath, this is gonna have a enclosed and forced air heated underbelly. So this is gonna be a great option for extended use, uh, for extended season camping and for season camping. Now you can see you've got a very nice sized power awning that is gonna have LED light strips in it. You've also got backlit LED speakers or outside speakers and a amber porch light. Now over here is gonna be your outside kitchen. You've got a small mini fridge and this hole here is where the dump sink will go. And then on this table here is where your griddle will mount. You've also got a cold water spray port right here and then you've got a cable and power out here for exterior TV if you did want to do that. This is a tandem axle unit, which is very nice. And uh, I really like those rims they're using this year. It, they just make the unit pop. You've got the Moride step above steps. That's a triple step with adjustable feet that folds up inside of the door. You can see you've got your screen door there, friction hinge entry door there as well. And the Surveyor product uses a composite sidewall called Asdell. So this is something you can't always see, well really you can't see, 
It's underneath fiberglass and it is a composite green based material that is waterproof, mold proof, and mildew proof. It also has twice the insulation and is half or and ha and adds half the weight that the conventional wood panels do. You can see you've got your square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky, spare tire, spare tire carrier. You've also got a ladder to get up onto the roof. Backup camera prep, all LED tail and marker lights. You're also going to have again 80 watts of solar panels up on the on the roof. That is fully expandable too, by the way. <clears throat> now over here, you're going to have your cable and satellite, city water connection, black tank flush, and your 30 amp uh, short cord. That's a detachable cord. And I really like how high they keep their sewer drains. That way you're not inclined to knock them off. This is a fully laminated product for your sidewalls. So your slide in boxes are laminated and they use the Asdale. They're gonna use the Asdale on the front and rear walls and the, the major sidewalls. So they use more Asdale than anybody else. You're also prepped for the Solera slide awning toppers on that small slide out. Don't really recommend those, but they're there if you do wanna add one. And then up here, you're gonna have your city, or your, I'm sorry, your fresh water connection and your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition, as well as the other side of your pass-through storage. So, all right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2022, or the updated 2022 Surveyor 202 RBLE. If you're interested in this particular trailer and you would like pricing and availability, I'll post a link to our website down below where you can check that at any time. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336, or you can email us at contact at custom-rv.com. If you are interested in purchasing this particular trailer and you would like to work with me personally, my name is Corey. I'm the sales manager here, and you're welcome to call me or text me with any questions at 806-382-6274. And I'm more than happy to get you all the information that you need if you want to purchase this or if you just have general questions. Now, remember at Custom RV, we know that RV is made for women so men can go camping. And we don't charge for prep, a walkthrough, and we include all of your connections at no additional charge to you. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. If you could do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. We would greatly appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. That helps you stay up to date with all of our new video content that we have coming out for you. All right, guys, again, thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. We hope to see you out on our lot very soon. And let's get out there and do some camping.